Yeah, good morning, YouTube. So this is my prototype control system for my little uh, DC to DC converter. I have a Z-Wave appliance module. This one is just a single output. As you can see here, uh, 12 volt, 100 milliamp output, and then you know a regular 30 amp headlight relay, 12 volt, 30 amp. They're you know 35 to 40 dollars, and you get just one output. So what I thought I would do, I have two of these I wanted to control. I would get rid of that, and I picked this up from a Monoprice. It's called an in-wall on-off dual relay module. And what they are, if we can zoom in on the little wiring diagram there. Here's your little module. You've got your antenna. That's the white wire, and then you've got two wall switches, two loads, and then this ties into your live and neutral to power the module. A yellow wire is load two, white wire is neutral, black wire is hot, red wire is load one, and then the green and blue wires there on the end are from a switch. So here's my two switches and I get two outlets and what I need to do is break the connection on the hot side so that there's two independent outlet receptacles and then I would be able to plug one wall supply that way one this way and control two relays which can control two converters and I have this one little uh, box in the middle and it picks up its signals over the wireless and I'll put that all in a little duplex box there and run a cord to it. So I think I'll put that together. So they say in the metal box can cut down the range of the Z-Wave antenna. So what I might do is drill a little hole down here at the bottom to let that uh, antenna stick out of the top. And so that'll be my little dual DC relay D-Wave module, and it'll have separately replaceable relays. For instance, this one, the built-in relays are only rated for AC and only for 550 watt. And the problem is if you ever burn up one of those relay contacts, you have to throw the whole module away because you can't replace it. But with uh, having this module switch only uh, 100 milliamps at 12 volts or roughly 10 milliamps at 120 volts, the relays in here should last a really, really long time. And if these relays wear out, I just pull one out, plug a new one in, and I'm ready to go. So there's the specifications. Z-Wave, 908 megahertz, up to 140 Fahrenheit, so 60 degrees C. These are actually pretty reasonable. I might have wanted to use these up in my attic. Actually, that's where I bought these for, is I used these to control some... Uh, ceiling fans and lights in a couple of bathrooms and I like these because they were they're outdoor rated which the attic isn't it's not a outdoor wet location but they're also rated at 60 degrees C but uh, yeah apparently this little device here is also rated at 60 degrees C so that's good to know I didn't uh, I just found these a little while ago so yeah, you can see 550 watts at 110 volts, so I guess apparently 5 amps. Although you can't use this directly, you've got to build a little box and circuit for it. But I think I will try that and see if I can get a dual Z-Wave receptacle. And then you have the switches. The way these work is you can use the switch to turn them on and off as normal, or you can send a Z-Wave command and turn them on and off through a Z-Wave controller. So yeah, that's my little plan to take one of these dual in-wall relay module and wire it to two 120 volt receptacles and then I can control two 
12 volt relays. Put that in a box with a dual cover plate on it and we should be good to go. So I'll show you what it looks like when I get it finished and we'll test it out and see if it works.